What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Grandia. Guys, we are on part number 8 right now and with where we left off in the last one, we actually now have all the magic for, well I say all the magic, we have fire and earth magic for Sue. We're going to start leveling that as we, oh I should probably actually heal. Yeah, we're going to start leveling that sort of as we go. We are going to go back to, uh, to Fina's house. We're going to have a little bit of court scenes there, and then we're going to have a dungeon with kind of a semi-difficult boss at the uh, at the end of that. Honestly though, it's not going to be that big of a deal because I am going to be prepping for it as we, you know, as we go, basically. And there's also not really that many items left for us to actually grab now. We did get pretty much all of them that uh, were on the, uh, you know, the previous pathway before. So we don't really have to, no, I don't know why I went in there to be fair. Uh, but yeah, we don't really have to do anything in the uh, in the next area. But we are going to have an area coming up where there's going to be a ton of items to get. We're also going to have uh, the ability to get more magic soon as well. And the next spell I think might trigger people. I, I do think getting the next spell will trigger people. Even more so than actually uh, giving Sue the magic. The main reason I say that, in fact, you know what? Um, I'm kind of lazy, so let's just like go wild. Oh wait, no, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Well, that's fine, we'll just do it manually, I guess. So we are gonna start working on fire with Sue. The main reason we're gonna start working on fire for Sue is when that levels up to level four, we do get bird flame, which, as you guys saw earlier on on the, uh, the pirate ship, it has a nice big AOE reach, basically. So that's why we want to get that sort of soonish, just because then you know we can level it up even faster, basically. But even better, once we get it to level two, we'll then be able to unlock a new skill for Sue, a new weapon skill, which will make leveling fire ridiculously, ridiculously easy. As for Earth magic. I'm actually just not even going to bother with that. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely just not even going to bother leveling Earth Magic right now. And the main reason for that is the level 1 Earth spell, Digging, is actually a buff spell. So, that will actually earn EXP for how many party members are on the field when it's used. Because it does target all party members. So, if we only have one party member, you'll only get... Like, for an example, free EXP. If you have two, then you'd get six EXP. And if you have three, you would get nine, and so on and so forth. So I'm not actually going to level Earth Magic just yet, because we will be getting another party member soon. Once we get that party member, that's when I'm actually going to do a little bit of leveling for that on Sue. We're not going to take it too far, though. Like, we're really not going to take it to an extreme or, or anything like that. Simply due to the fact we want to keep it low, basically. Like, believe me when I say right now that we could very, very easily level Sue's Earth Magic to level 99 right now. It would take a bit of time. Like, it would definitely take a bit of time, for sure. But, it would be possible. And even though we would get, you know, quite a lot of, quite a lot of help with that, you know, like it would give us 99 strength and all that sort of good stuff, even though that would be the case, it would still end up actually being bad for us. And I know that's really weird to say, like, oh, you know, you're going to get all this strength, but it's going to be bad? How so? All right, so, the main way that we're going to level Sue to, uh, you know, like level 99 weapons, level 99 fire, and level 99 earth magic later on is going to be a skill that combines all three. So if we actually have one where, you know, her skill, uh, her skill, her earth magic is level 99, that's going to put the skill, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I got something stuck in my throat there. But yeah, that's going to put the skill at sort of an innately high level. And so because of that, we like, we'll like we basically be earning very little in terms of EXP at the start. So it'll actually slow us down even more later. That's why we're not going to go like way overboard on that pretty much. Like we're probably gonna we're probably gonna get to like level five, and then that will basically be it for a while, pretty much. So 
like there's not really there's just no point in going through them like you know what i mean just absolutely no point and technically now that i actually have fire level two with sue i could just start working on her throwing weapon again and then i could use her other skill to level fire magic which you know what i might do in the next area hmm. it's like we do we do have an area coming up which would actually be a nice leveling spot if the characters have like an aoe skill basically which you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna check see how close i am because i need to get rid of the poison anyway so uh antidotes thankfully i have three antidotes so it's fine right where are we moves so Justin, level 8 mace. So I still need two more levels with his mace. Once we get those two levels, we'll actually start working on his his axe. And we'll get that up to level 12. And then once we get his axe up to level 12, that's basically when I'm just going to swap back to the sword. Near enough full time for Justin. Uh, Sue, so I just need four levels on her bow. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get the four levels on Sue's bow, I think. Because once I get the four... Well, then again, no. I'm going to get fire up to level four. Yeah, if I get fire up to level four... In fact, no. I'm going to... I am actually going to get her bow up to level 12. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna do that. We're going to focus on Sue's bow. Because that's going to come in really handy for us, you know? Like, that is actually going to let us just power level her fire attack so easily later. So, because we're only going to be using normal attacks, I'm actually just going to put play fair on. Like the uh, the party attack system and that, and we're just gonna leave the game to do that for us. Because obviously, right now Justin just needs to level mace, and Sue needs to level throw. Up. But yeah, the next area is going to be really, really good for actually leveling a lot of Sue's stuff, and it would be good for Justin if Justin actually had an AOE skill. But obviously, the way I'm currently building my characters, I don't have an AOE skill on Justin. Like, I could get one. Don't don't get me wrong. I could get an AoE skill on Justin. You know, I could either teach him uh, magic or something like that. But I'm not going to. It's like one of the one of the things... That, well, I say one of the things. Two of the things I like doing uh, later on, I, I simply wouldn't be able to do one of them if I gave Justin AoE magic this early. So that's why I'm just not going to bother with it. It's like, yeah, it hurts us a little on the early game, but it more than makes up for it later. Like, it's definitely it's definitely not needed. But getting the AoE for Sue is very, very beneficial. Because Sue's AoE skill is actually, you know, completely AoE, right? I could go through there, which would be quicker. But I'm not going to. I want to fight the extra battle, so we're going to go around the long way again. But yeah, the AoE we're going to get for Sue is actually, like, complete AoE, basically. Like, complete, complete AoE. So, obviously, you know, like, as you guys have seen with Burn and Burn Flame, the AoE sizes on this game can vary. And because of that, because of that, uh, some skills will actually, like, be guaranteed to hit the whole field. The skill that we're, we're... Oh, they're really upping their defense here. This is actually a good thing. This is a good thing, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but yeah, the reason why Sue's AoE skill is so good is because that is guaranteed to hit the whole field, basically. Right. Why are these enemies leveling their defense up? Why is that a good thing? More defense means I deal less damage. I deal less damage means I get more hits. The only problem is Sue actually has a good weapon, so the extra defense isn't really that amazing for her. Like, what I what I realistically should have done there is I should have turned Playfair off, and I should have just had Justin alone to attack. We probably would have been able to get him, you know, like... We'd have got him at least one. Maybe, maybe even two levels if we just completely left it to him but you know it's fine it's fine it's like i'm hoping i will have my mace completely done by the time i get to the next boss that's that's the goal basically so, i mean i don't really care so much about the axe right now because we can we can level justine's weapons like throughout the whole game like his his weapon skills at the moment don't really matter he does get one aoe one but it's not amazing by any stretch of the means Whereas his good ones, like his really good skills, we won't actually get until disc two. 
unfortunately. Well, I technically think you can learn them at the, um, like, end of disc one. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think when the actual unlock for those skills are. I'm, I'm fairly positive it's, like, the end of disc one. End of disc one, start of disc two, basically. Once we get those skills with Justin, though, those will basically be all the skills we'll be using. It's like, Justin is, you know in, like, JRPGs, you've always got that, you know, like, one character that has that one ability or a couple of abilities that are just so, like, ridiculously strong that you don't even need anything else to complete the game. Yeah, Justin's last two weapon skills specifically are like that, basically. It's like, once you get them, you can literally just go through the whole game spamming them. And that's it then, right? Job's done. Game's done at that point, basically. It's like, there is nothing that will be able to really hurt you. Well, I say hurt you. There's nothing that will really be able to beat you once you really get them. Why on earth is Sue defending? Well, I mean, at least it didn't kill her because of the defense, so I suppose it's not the end of the world. Ideally, though, she'll actually kill something. Okay, there we go, that's fine. She is kind of low on health, though, so if there's going to be another fight, I'm going to have to heal her. Because, I mean, we are actually really close to the end of this area, so if I can get away with not healing, I would love to do that. Level 9. One more level. Yeah, we're definitely going to have that leveled up in time for the next boss. For sure. There's no there's no way at all. Oh, I should heal so whoops. There's no way at all we're gonna get to the next area. Uh, the next area. There's no way we're gonna get to the next boss without gaining another level for Justin. Because it's like, yeah, there's not gonna be many more enemies here right now. That's fine. That is completely, completely fine. And the reason that's fine is the next area actually has a bunch of mobs. Like absolute ridiculous amount of mobs in the next area and obviously you know we'll be we'll be fighting them all so we'll be getting a ton of exp there here's the gold that we saw earlier as well by the way oh the cockatrices okay you know what i really want to fight them so i'm gonna have to heal we'll just use a wound salve on sue and now we'll go murder them it's fine it's like realistically i would grind a bit to get sue's fire up to level four but Eh, I, I don't see the point in really wasting that time, you know what I mean? Because like once we get once we get her bow up, we can easily, easily level her fire magic in the next area. So it's like, mm, it would give us a little bit of an advantage, but it wouldn't really be worth the time investment, you know what I mean? Well, so this is one of the things where... You know, so many people can diverge. Because I know a lot of people who play uh, who play Grandia, they will actually give the first mana egg to Justin. And nine times out of ten, they will give him fire. Just because of the fact, like, it's more wit for him, basically. So he can act faster. Or, they'll give him earth magic for more strength. Alright, let's go to Fina's house. The lovely, lovely Fina. Since we got everything from the last area. Now, this area is super easy to get turned around in, by the way. So, I would always say just follow the compass. There's nothing, like, outside of Fina's house or anything like that. And on the inside, there's just the save points. So, this is Fina's house, huh? Looks like a really well-built house. I wonder if she built it herself. Cool, this furniture looks like it was handmade by Fina. I'd like to show me around here. Yeah, sure. First things first, we're going to use the recover point and we're going to save. Look, man, it's a JRPG. You've always got to save, okay? Always got to save. And, of course, we're just going to keep overwriting our other saves anyway. It's fine. Right? Now, what do you do when you enter a lone girl's house that you have a crush on? Well, you obviously inspect their panties. How cute! I'd like to have one of those. Don't go around touching stuff. Fina might get mad at you. Yeah, she, she might get mad. Because you're holding her panties. Naughty Justin. Oh man, it's FF7 all over again, guys. Oh, uh, there's just there's just something about older like PS1 JRPGs where it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna steal your panties, it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Cause I mean, oh, what was it? There's panties in Grandia, there's FF7. Um Yeah, they're yours, Fina, it's fine. By the way, notice her icon picture here. No, she's blushing, guys, she's blushing. 
Uh, right, what other things are there? Uh, Parasite Eve 2 has the shower scene, which you guys have to admit, if you've if you've played Parasite Eve 2, right, that cutscene is so freaking high quality. Like, just, just the level of quality in that cutscene is so goddamn high. There are PS3 games with lower quality than that cutscene had in a PS1 game. It is amazing. It's like they spent pretty much the entire budget for the first disc of Parasite Eve 2 on that cutscene. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well, it's fine. I was too busy talking about nude shower scenes and games. <laughs> Look, we, we've all had that moment, right? You know, your mind wanders. You think about boobs. And you just, you know, you, your mind wanders. Hey, Sophina, tell us about Pacon and uh, how you're engaged to him. Yeah, spreading nonsense. We all we all know he's a loser. And she just wanted to avoid him. See, that's that's why restraining orders are a thing. Just just get a restraining order, Fina, it's fine. Yeah, it's kinda strange. Alright, and last but not least, why don't you go on an adventure with us, Fina? Yeah, let's go search for the legendary Angelo. Yeah, random girls hold as they work, it's fine. Alright, so you so you coming, girl? You, you coming, Fina? Alright, let's borrow the world map. Wait, I've done all three conversations, alright? Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna bother with the society, it's fine. You don't need some guy to tell you what you can and can't do in the world. It's like, always follow your dreams, kids. Do what you wanna do. Providing that doesn't involve, like, murder or armed robbery. Or drugs. Yeah, don't 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 do drugs. Drugs is probably the worst of the three I just suggested. Actually, is it like what what is the worst of the three I just suggested? Like, is it worse to kill somebody? Like, rob a bank or like use and deal hardcore drugs. What is what is the worst that I know most people are probably gonna say murder. But then it's like I suppose really it depends on how you look at it, you know? Like if you're if you're one of those, like, um, really selfish people, then you're going to say drugs, because obviously that affects you, basically. Whereas the murdering someone, yeah, you know, you're, you're taking away someone's life. But what if it was, like, I don't know, a bad guy that you murdered, you know? Is it really that bad then? But then if you look at robbing the bank, I mean, that that's a lot of money that goes missing, and that can really screw up a country, you know, if it's, like, a big enough bank. If the bank is big enough and you're robbing enough, that can screw up a country. Like, imagine if, imagine if, like, Fort Knox in America got robbed. Like, America's entire gold reserve was just wiped out. I dread to think what that would do to the Amer American society. It's like, the price of the dollar would go down a lot, I imagine, to be fair. Yeah, no one decides where the wind blows. Let's go. We're just talking. We're just casually talking about robbing banks, fucking murdering people, drugs, and all that. And these guys are just having like a real life discussion right now. Notice the music. Notice the music. What's that music? My dearest Fina, I've come for you. Yup, yup. I heard someone say yup. Yeah, it's the loser. It's the loser. We're, we're not gonna pay attention to him. It's fine. We, we don't care about this loser. Yeah! That was Fina! Mm hmm. Let's go see what's going on. We gotta save the damsel in distress, I guess. Tell you, man, a hero's work is never done. A hero's work is definitely never done, is it? Look over there! Hey, what's going on, Packin? You, uh, how you doing, buddy? You still, you still a loser? Yeah, you're still a loser, aren't you? It's fine, dude. It's fine. Go on home, Parker, and I told you to never come here again, remember? Yeah, just go go away, loser. Like, see, seriously, man, just just go away. We, we don't want you here, man. Once you and I are married, Fina, we can wash our underwear together. Uh, no. How about no? I know that you're really crazy about me. No, no, she just thinks you're crazy, dude. If you don't mind me, I'm going to take away your adventurous past. I mean, okay, sure. Man, he's blackmailing her. Trying to get that into your hat. Mm -hmm. Are you a boyfriend or what? Yeah, why not? I'm a friend, I suppose. 
Justine is my fiance. We're getting married. And everyone's so surprised. Oh. I don't know why, but this little, like, act they put on, like, it always makes me laugh. Because it's like, they, you have to think at their ages, like, 14 and 15. It is basically, like the first thing they would think of, isn't it? Like, it is genuinely the first thing they would think of. Yeah, sorry I never mentioned it to you, Pakron. It's fine, buddy. You'll, you'll be fine. You know what? I'll help you. This is the kind of thing I have my bodyguard along for. Master Chan! Come on. Hiya! By the way, guys, remember that boss I was talking about that's going to be really uh, annoying and most people who play this game will game over to this guy? Yeah, it, it's him. It's him. We aren't going to fight him just yet, though. We have to get through another dungeon. We will fight him, though. And he is goddamn brutal, okay? Like, absolutely goddamn brutal. He can very, very easily, like just like catch you by surprise it's like one minute everything could be fine but then he'll just get these like really random attacks in that just keep cancelling you and that's when he really screws you because he does actually have quite a quite a high hit rate a hit rate a critical hit rate i mean right i suppose we should uh, go save fina from getting married right let's uh, go and you know what this is actually a dungeon that i actually really quite like I don't know why, because there's really nothing that special about this dungeon. It's... Oh, wrong way. Yeah, there's really nothing special about this dungeon or anything like that. I just like it for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's probably, like, the grinder in me that likes it, maybe. That, I mean, there are, like, quite a lot of items in there for us to get. Alright, so now that we are back in Palm, do I need to heal? No, I don't need to heal, because we are full from the recovery point. So we're going to come up here to the uh, the little gap next to the giant turtle. We're going to see what is completely Pakken. Like, literally completely a one-for-one -one model of Pakken. Hmm, you admire him? Aw, oh, silly girl. Yeah, we're just going to go left at the giant turtle. Alright, there's the church. We can't get in the front door though, so we're going to ignore that. We're going to go in the storeroom. And, of course, in typical JRPG fashion, there's some stairway into the sewer. Right. Okay. Now, the main idea of the sewer, right, is we're going to open all these doors and we're going to get rid of all the water. The enemies in here, they can ambush you quite easily, though. As you saw, one of them just jumped from top to bottom. That does happen more than you might think. And, of course, you know, we have the slimes as well. Although, these slimes are actually different to the ones in the first ruins, and you can actually cheese these slimes, okay? Now, these ones do have an ability. Granted, they use it rarely. It's rare they use it, but they can use an ability called Divide. And that's an ability that all slimes from this point on will have, where they can just split themselves into, you know, like from one to two, three, or even four more enemies. So you can actually like fill up the entire floor with slimes if you want. I think the cap on enemies is like 8 or 9 or something like that. So you can actually just completely fill the field with slimes. And by doing that, obviously, you know, it's more EXP at the end of the day. We're not really going to bother with that though. Not, not yet anyway. Maybe, maybe later. It's like right now, all we still care about is just leveling weapons for the both of them. It's like, Justin only needs one more level for me to put an axe on him, which will obviously increase his damage a lot more. And Sue, I think it only needs, like, three more levels now. Ah, never mind, she, she actually got it. Right, so we learned Fire Away. So, Fire Away is an AoE skill with, uh, with Sue. In fact, let's take a look at it. Uh, oh wait, no, that's actually not the one. So, Fire Away- oh wait, no, I was thinking of Fire Breath, wasn't I? Whoops. Uh, so, Fire Away is a complete AoE skill that will hit every enemy on the field, basically. But, look at its SP cost. 28 SP. That means I can only use it once. Not that great, unfortunately. It would be on, you know, like a fight with just all the slimes, basically. If we had, like, an entire field full of slimes, it would be worth using then. But until that point, eh. There's, there's just no real point. Alright, oh, Sue's about to level up as well. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, so she's only level 10 now, so I still actually need two more levels. Right, once I get those two levels, we're going to swap to uh, a mace for Sue. And we are actually going to get a another mace inside this dungeon as well. So once that happens, I can, you know, just like change Justin to an axe and give Sue the good mace that we're going to get in a minute. And then we can just start leveling that as well. So like, this is the point where we aren't quite going to snowball just yet. But it's not going to be that long until we do. Because there are some skills in Grandia where once you once you really start to use, everything really does just snowball, basically. You know, it's like things will start dying really, really quickly. You'll start earning more EXP for weapons and magic combined. And so things will actually just start getting really out there in terms of how much damage we do and that. And it is kind of coming up, depending on how you build right, your characters. Like, it, it does depend on how you build them, like, who gets what magic and that. That's why I gave Sue Fire and Earth magic, basically. Because, like, I know it's going to snowball for me later. Like, it's going to allow us to completely max out all of Sue's weapons. It's going to allow us to max out two of her four magics. We can max out a third of her magic in another dungeon later which to be fair will be the most boring grind anyone has ever done well okay, maybe maybe not the most boring grind anyone has ever done but pretty pretty boring nonetheless like it will essentially it will essentially be where we'll be leveling water magic on every character and we'll be taking that basically straight from level one all the way up to level 99 and what I will say is it takes eight hours per character. At that point, we'll have three party members. So in order to get level 99 water on all three characters, it will take 24 hours gameplay. So do, do keep that in mind. I know some people use a slightly different method where, you know, they don't get it up to level 99. And honestly, I, I understand why they use that method. I think it is vastly inferior though, both in terms of the time it takes and just like the general annoyance of said method. But again, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over both of those methods when we actually get to the uh, the area that we're going to later. Right now that Justine's leveled up his mace, we can get rid of that. Uh, I think we can. Yeah, level ten. Okay, so we can completely get rid of that now. Because obviously his next skill after that is level 25. We will unlock some more skills for him as we get to, um, as we actually get some more magic. Uh, but I don't think we actually need his mace or more just yet. So right now we're going to focus on axe. We're going to learn the next two skills, and then, 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 uh, we'll just be going back to his sword. Basically, it's like we will start learning. Um, Oh, what's the word? We will start learning magic with Justine soon, but we're not going to put too much of a priority on Justine's magic. Mainly due to the fact, like, Justine basically gets everything from his weapons, you know? He gets his huge stat increases from his weapons, because his, well, his weapons are sword, axe, and mace. So he actually has, like, a really balanced stat growth just on weapon levels. That we don't really need to care too much about the actual magic right, growth. We Obviously, we're still going to get it because it's more stats at the end of the day. But it's not really that important. The big one is just going to be, you know, his actual weapons. Although once we do, uh, oh wait, no crap! I've just closed that. Whoops! No, no, no! I want to, I want to empty it. I want to empty it. Oh wait, yeah, I need to keep that lower, don't I, for the next area? Well, never mind. Look, it's been, it's been a little while, guys. It's been a little while, okay? I need to lower the next one. Hmm. Hmm. But there's no more wall. Oh, wait, no. There's one more area that I can drain, actually. There's one more area in here that I can drain, which we are going to. Yeah, let's just move to the slime space, though. I'm just thinking, should I actually go to the save point to heal? Because Sue looks like she might die on then. No, you know what? I'm going to use the wound salve instead to heal her. Yeah, we'll just heal her with that. It's fine. Okay, maybe maybe I won't. Um, hmm. 
I suppose really I probably should go to the recovery point now. Yeah, I probably should go to the recovery point. It's because I'm just using the AI, to be honest. Like, I could turn the AI off and then I could use, like, skills and magic and whatnot and actually, like, group attack enemies, but, eh. Uh, can I actually use the resurrection? Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Let's just do that. It's fine. It means I can still fight enemies going through here, which is all that really matters. As long as I can murder things, we'll be okay. Right, uh, I'm going to completely ignore down there for now. We will be going back there in a minute, don't worry. For now, though, we just have to go get uh, a new shield. And we also have to do this. Alright, let's get rid of all the water there. He's probably not going to jump up for me, is he? Oh, he is, nice. Okay, thank you, Mr. Blob. The Blobby jumped up for me. Fun fact, right below us is another mana egg, which we're actually going to go for in a second as well. And then using this mana egg is... Mm, unfortunately, because of the uh, the way that like I'm going to be building my character specifically, this mana egg is forced to be water for Justin. Well, technically we could get it for Sue as well. Like, we could just get water for Sue instead. But I'm not going to. And the reason I'm not going to get it for Sue is she has to use her MP for her fire magic and her hearth magic. Whereas right now, Justine doesn't use MP for anything. So we're going to get water for Justine instead. And then we can level that a little bit, you know, in this area and the next area and so on and so forth. Right, let's just ignore these enemies while we go get the mana egg. I should probably actually, you know, just get the, uh, the gold as well while we're down there. That's not good. I got ambushed. I did not want that to happen. Okay, at least there's only two. Two isn't too bad. I can I can deal with two. That's fine. Especially now that I actually have a good weapon on Justin. Now that I've got the axe on him, like his damage is definitely much higher. So that's pretty fine. Easy. We don't have to worry too much there. Yeah, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy, Sue. Ooh, I'm actually about to level the axe up. Nice. Well, right now we don't really care about that, though. Okay. And here's the minor egg. There we go. Right, so, what we're going to do now is probably very obvious to, uh, to a lot of you. We're going to run all the way back out of this dungeon. We're going to go to the shop and we're going to spend that minor egg. Honestly, you could just wait until after this dungeon. That's also perfectly fine. Um... I'm not going to though, because then, like after you know the next few cutscenes and that, we don't have to come back to this town. We can just like move on with where the game wants us to go, basically. Plus, then it also gives me an excuse to fight everything in this dungeon a second time, which will just give me you know more weapon levels, basically. So, like the main the main goal I want is I want Sue's throwing weapon level to be level 12 before the next boss. Now, will it happen or not? Eh, it's going to be touch and go. She's nearly, she's close to being level 11 with it right now. So she's not that far off. But, eh, it just depends on how many times Justin kills things, basically. Like, that is, that is going to be the big, oh, spin attack. Hmm, only did four damage, though, for some reason. That should have done a lot more. Spin attack normally deals more, but oh well, I'm not I'm certainly not gonna complain. Although you know what I'm gonna do before I go back and spend the mana egg? We're gonna murder everything here, I think. Uh actually no I'm not. I'm just gonna go spend it now. There is actually I'm gonna get the gold. Because I feel like if I don't get that now, I'm gonna forget about it when we come back, and I might miss it. Alright, now let's run all the way out of here. Also, when we come back, we won't have to uh, mess around with the waterways. At least I don't think we do anyway. Like, I'm almost positive we don't have to. Even if we do, though, like, it's only two seconds. So it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, we're gonna go get some water magic now for Justin. In fact, what's my half at? Okay, my half's actually a little low on Justin as well. That's actually a good thing. Oops, I need to change the water there. Yeah, so... One of the things that... Honestly is a little annoying, but isn't the end of the world for Grandia 
is if you were to level water magic normally, like normally, then every time you get to like a save point or a recovery point in that, you would essentially have to go into the menu, use the uh, the water magic to heal everybody to full, and then use the recovery command. Because then obviously, you know, you're gaining EXP for healing characters' health, and then you're refilling your MP at the actual save point. Which, eh. I, I'll be honest, I forget to do 99% of the time. That's also one of the reasons why I... <coughs> excuse me. It's one of the reasons why I just get water to level 99 ASAP. Because there are a few points in the game that you can actually cheese water leveling. And that's actually what we're going to do, basically. But again, that's not going to be for uh, for a while. I think we still have like two dungeons before that. Alright, we have one mana egg. We're going to get water magic for Justin. So every time this levels up, we gain one HP for Justin now. And essentially, what we're going to do for a while is now, every time that we need to heal, I'm just going to go into magic with Justin. And look at the level one down in the bottom left there. See how it's got zero EXP? If we use the healing magic on Justin to heal him. And boom, it's now eight EXP. Because we just used it to heal. Water is the only magic you don't have to be into a fight to actually level up. So do keep that in mind. And now let's just go actually recover properly and we'll also we're save. So now what we're going to do is every time we get to a save point, we're going to use Justin to heal everybody and then we're going to recover just to get an extra couple of levels. It's not really that important because, you know, we will actually be leveling it up to 99 later anyway. But for now, you know, it's a bit more helpful. We'll probably be able to get it up to like level 4, level 5 or something like that before I actually start power leveling it. Right. With that said though, let's go save Fina, shall we? But I'm afraid to say we're going to be doing that in the next one because I'm going to be ending this one right here. So though, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button. And of course, drop a comment down below. And for anybody new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.